I'm deep underground in one of Earth's harshest environments. And I can't tell you where I am or how I got here. Out of respect for the cave and the area, we decided to film outside. Part of what makes caving so secretive is in the service of conservation. I met with Shiloh McCollum, a cave entomologist, to learn more about what makes this environment so unique. A lot of the secrecy comes from trying to vet the person or educate the person about conservation ethics. A cave forms over millions of years, and those formations may not ever be able to be reproduced because the ground has shifted. It's very easy for humans to harm it. What we saw during COVID was a naive population that had never been exposed to that disease before and it killed a lot of people. Well, the same thing happens in a cave. If we introduce a disease by accident, it's affecting a new naive population and we can wipe out 90% of that population without even knowing it. Particularly if we never studied the before and have nothing to compare when it's after. Decon procedures help limit cave populations to potential pathogens. It's extremely important to protect these fragile environments as once they're gone, they're gone for good and you'll never have a cave just like it. But also going into a cave without proper experience can be extremely dangerous. Jim Lawton is the president of the Northern Colorado Grotto and he tells me more about what the community does to ensure safe pursuits. The most important thing you can bring into a cave with you is light. So the lack of light. <laughs> it's dangerous. Water. I know some people who have been trapped underground for several days until the water receded. Bad air. There's toxic gases, falling rock. The people you're with. I was caving in a dangerous cave last year. Get up near the top and there's loose rock. And one of these rocks dislodged from the ceiling about the size of a basketball. And I'm sitting there trying to catch it and it just slipped out of my fingers. And once that happened, I'm yelling, rock, rock! And this basketball landed two feet away from my friend. If you're ill-prepared and you're gonna go alone, no. <laughs> the other thing is the ability to get lost. I like the caves that are mazy. And so the thrill is being Neil Armstrong, being somewhere where no one else has been ever. Caving is an activity that brings out many people's greatest fears. But if you are interested in caving and you want to get involved, one of the first steps you can do is find your local grotto. Some grottos are more accepting than others, but people are happy to teach you. You just need to show interest and take that first step. 